Hello and welcome. My name is Eddie Ambler. In this demo, we will go through creating a pluggable database on an existing VMDB system using the OCI console. Let's start by opening the navigation menu. Click on Oracle Database. Then click on Oracle Base Database VM. The compartment field defaults to your current compartment. Validate the compartment shown contains the DB system in which you want to create the PDB. From the list of the DB systems, find the DB system in which you want to create the PDB. For our demo, click the display name of My Demo DB System. This will bring up the DB Systems Details page. Note that the state of the DB system is shown as available, as depicted by the green icon on the upper left of the screen. Scroll down to see the list of databases on the DB system. From the list of databases on the DB Systems Details page, find the database in which you want to create the PDB. For our demo, click on the display name of Mine19C CDB. This will bring up the database details page. Note that the state of the database is shown as available. On the left rail, under resources, click pluggable databases. Now click on the create pluggable database button. This will bring up the create pluggable database dialog screen. Specify a user friendly name that you can use to identify the PDB. For our demo, we will use my19c pdbx for the PDB name. Next, we will check the checkbox to unlock my PDB admin account. We can now enter the PDB admin password, ensuring to pay attention to the required password format. We will then enter the TDE wallet password of the database. Now that we have named our PDB and provided the admin passwords, let's look at what is available under advanced options. Under Advanced Options, you can optionally apply tags to help you organize and track your resources. If you're not sure if you should apply tags, then skip this option. You can apply tags later. Click the Create Pluggable Database button to proceed with creating our PDB. You can click on Work Requests in the left rail to monitor the progress of your request to create the pluggable database. you'll note that the work request has a state of in progress. When the database creation process completes, the state of the work request changes from in progress to succeeded. Click on the pluggable database details link in the breadcrumb trail to go to the pluggable database details page. Note that our pluggable database name that we specified is displayed and that its state is marked as available. We can click on the PDB Connections button to see the connect string for connecting to your PDB's administration service. You can use the following connect strings to connect from within your VCN using either the Easy Connect format or the Long format. Congratulations on accomplishing the mission of creating a PDB in an existing container database in a VMDB system.